This morning, Florida awoke to its own heartbreak. Globs of oil scattered on more than 23 miles of white sand. <laughs> my whole life was to live out here was my dream. And then the, uh, this is happening. It's, it's so sad and everybody. This is just disgusting. I don't know who would want that in their backyard. This is our backyard. It's just a shame. Crews laid more boom at the mouth of Pensacola Bay to keep any oil from reaching wetlands. But on the beach, the response seemed disorganized and painfully slow. Cynthia Richardson and her grandson spent five hours picking up the mess before a single cleanup crew arrived. What is going on, BP? We need help out here on Pensacola Beach. In some places, the oil is as small as a dime and it's camouflaged in the seaweed. Then you come across scenes like this with it splattered across the sand. But in all cases, the consistency is the same. It's very thick, it's melting in the sun, and as you can see, it's difficult to scoop up. It's now washing up from Grand Isle, Louisiana to Pensacola, Florida, and is expected to keep spreading east. Scientists back from an eight-day mission aboard a NOAA research ship confirmed there's more oil hidden from view. And vessels from the University of South Florida have confirmed two large underwater plumes, which are reportedly about six miles wide, containing thousands of gallons of oil. You see all the tar balls on the beaches, and it's just devastating. On these 23 miles of sand, BP says it has 320 crews, uh, 320 people, I should say, cleaning up. And as you can see behind me, people did come to the beach today despite this tar. And Florida says its beaches are still open and safe. Katie? Kelly Cobiea, thank you.